Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Today we're going to be going over some competitive gameplay as I haven't for a long time and we did match up against SK Gaming in the quarterfinals so a battle of the titans here and uh let's see if you came out on top so as you guys see chris arcade is going to be the first map and uh we decided to draft a comp of piper bow and crow here and sk they go with the rough spell and the stew as you guys know semantic is a really good stew here so that's gonna be a really good brawler for sk and uh we're gonna be banning squeak surge byron sk is gonna be banning max sandy and squeak because our team really loves max you know we're you know really good at max and we give teams a you know big trouble especially sk sk can't really deal with too many max comps so that's why they're gonna be banning that out there and uh so we decided to go with the byron because we know chaos is a very good byron and byron just in general is just he's the best brawl in the game and uh, yeah you can't really touch him there guys so let's just get straight into the games here let me just uh, skip this, and uh, there we go. We get into the first game now, here, and uh, straight straight off the start, I get a really nice tap of semantic, and I nearly get the kill. I don't know how I don't get the kill there. Like my gadget just goes around like this. I don't know. I don't know what my gadget was doing there, but we do manage to get off to a decent start here. Yoshi has his lane control right now, and uh, gonna be going back into the action. Yoshi gets a nice slow. It was the first game. My shots were a bit shaky there. You know that should have been a guaranteed kill onto Gay. There it was definitely. Definitely not great. And uh, as you see it right now, we're going to be trying to... Going to try and uh, get Gia again. Gia is just playing very passive. I'm going to help Tom get these sandbags down as well as... All Tom is doing is just sitting at the back, trying to get his mines. I do get marked by Bell. I don't know how everyone hits Bell marks. Like, uh, it just seems so impossible for me here. But as you see right now, Chaos wins his lane. He's fighting at 6 HP, but Tom's mines are perfect. Literally perfect. Chaos can't go anywhere except for the mid out or he can trip the mines. Not sure why he didn't trip the mines there. Uh, because it does give him a bit of issue going in. As you see, Tom gets in one shot. I killed Gia right there. It's going to be a very big kill for me to get. And uh, not sure why I jumped. I guess I was scared that Chaos was going to just two-tap me or something like that. So I need to just be very, very careful there. Semantic did survive there. Couldn't finish off the kill. I get a nice uh, tap onto Gia. Nearly got the double tap, which would have been the kill. But this is where it starts getting a bit shaky for us because Gia gets power up here. And uh, that makes him two-shot. I'm marked as well, so it's very hard for me to get uh gie and uh i think he's gonna be winning that mid battle there semantic did die yoshi died as well they both got the trade there and chaos gonna be taking the left lane and uh let me just go back here and yeah so i was further back so i couldn't see the lane swap there and i no one knew the lane swap happened uh maybe tom did i don't know because i was further back so i couldn't see and as you guys saw uh chaos, so yoshi did die because he didn't know so that's not his fault and i don't know whose fault that was because I don't know, because we got none of us saw him, I guess. He was just off our screen, so it's just well played by SK there. But as you see right now, we're progressing up the map here. They're going to have the bell trap. Me and Yoshi both hit the bell traps there. I'm going to be dying there as well. Can't do much, guys. And SK is going to go off with a strong start, heading over to game number two. Here we go, guys. On to game number two here. And uh, as you see right now, again, similar lanes, except for SK do get the swap on. So Tom's going to be taking on uh, Stu. And as you see, I pinch it out there. Did much better start for us, you know, getting the kills. I get a nice little double kill. Do die, though, but it was really good. Hey, guys, look at this uh, movement from Yoshi here. He managed to sneak through and get the kill to Chaos, guys. That's going to be a very big play. Semantic's going to just avoid the gems because, again, you really don't want uh, Semantic with the gems there, especially when he's playing Stu. Like, it's just not great. Your aggro brawler cannot be having the gems or else he can't go aggro and the game's pretty much going to be very difficult for them, but... Santic wastes his dash there, not quite sure what he's doing there, you know, it's very, very bad play for him. Uh, Gears get slow, nice slow from Yoshi, just keeping him out the play. I'm playing very risky right now, I'm playing very out in the open here, but I'm just very, I'm very confident with my movement that I won't die there, so that's why I did that. Yoshi coming in the left lane, I'm going to be struggling, like, this map, it's just so spawn trappy. Once you, once you lose your lane once, it's pretty much impossible to get. Really nice shots from Tom, guys. He just absolutely lasered, and I did die to Chaos eventually here. Hey, Tom made the call out for Yoshi to come right, because there's no point fighting that lane there if it's very hard to get. And uh, Tom gets him one shot. I'm going to gadget him and get that kill there. Going to get a nice tap onto Gie there. Having very high impact right now is very key right now. And as you see right now, Yoshi's going to be trying to pinch with me there. I get a nice pinch with Yoshi right there. And uh, as you see there, Gie just trying his best to uh, stay alive there. He has a power up there, so again, it's going to be similar to last game, but we do have a lead this time, which is a very big uh, thing to realize. I get a nice kill to Gie. Taking that power off him, power up off him now is going to be very big for us. I get a nice tap on the Chaos. Nearly got that double tap there, but he was just out of my range. Uh, I tell Yoshi he doesn't have any gadgets anymore, so he can get a really nice jump onto him. And that's going to be very big for us there. As you guys see, countdown started. 
they cannot reset at all. So all we got to do is just keep them back. And it's pretty much that simple. I'm going to try and keep the A back there. Chaos is going to try and push up on right. But it's just too much. Crow's chip damage is too much for them to handle. And we managed to make it 1-1 in the series. Heading over to the next game. So for the sake of those people who can't really see the screen. Because I understand it's very, very small here. I'm going to be hiding over to in-game. Uh, I didn't have the other two games in my battle log. But I do have the, the other ones as well. Now. So yeah. Heading over. This is uh, game number three. This is such an important game, guys. The winner of this gets a one set advantage here and it's just a very big thing to have right now so that's why it's gonna be very very important to get this set here and uh as you see right now uh sk get a very good start you know i was very shocked on the start they got there we i just got absolutely wrecked there try to help him out i get a, a nice little gadget onto gia there just trying to keep him weak so he's get so he's forced to back up a little bit and here i get a nice pinch of the semantic not quite sure what semantic was doing there i, I don't know but hey, yeah, game misses a shot here. I get a nice gadget onto Chaos as well. That's going to be a really nice double kill from me. Making my lane's life easier. And that's exactly what the mid does. That that was a, a bit of a misjump from me. But again, I don't know why Symantec just dashed in, guys. Symantec wasn't having the best game. He just dashed in and just died there as well into my mind. Uh, I get another kill onto him. Nice double slow from Yoshi. He's going to just try and see the opportunity. He knows Gia is going to be weak here. But uh, he's going to be deciding to just chill. You know, he could have got a double kill maybe. But it does not need to risk it, guys. Losing positioning is going to be very bad. But what an amazing start we have, guys. I'm absolutely popping off here. Seven gems to three gems is going to be amazing. Tom hasn't lost lane. Yoshi's holding his lane as well. Like, it's just going all well. And uh, I get another nice tap onto Gie. Trying to get a double tap. Yoshi's going to jump in. Gets the kill. And uh, Tom's going to get some really nice shots onto Semantic, guys. Well played by him. And I get a kill on 2 Chaos. Well, Yoshi gets the kill, but I do assist with that. And uh, so, yeah, countdown starts for us. This was a very, very dominant game here. And all we have to do is close it right now. I'm going to be backing off here. I'm going to hold my jump in case. A nice slow from uh, Yoshi again. Trying to confirm the game. Semantic going absolutely berserk there. But it's pretty much too late, guys. And we managed to secure the first set, which is going to be a big advantage for us, guys. Heading over to set number two. Here we go, guys. On to set number two. And it's going to be a Sneaky Fields and... Uh, this map isn't the best for us. It's an okay map here. In scrims, we've been, you know, we've been struggling quite a lot on this map here. But this time around, uh, we tried to figure something out. We knew the comp SK is going to go. It's just pretty pretty much obvious there. But, yes, we knew the comp SK is going to go here. And, uh, yeah, so we drafted by, uh, B, Gale, and Squeak. SK had their Lola, M's, Ash comp. Spantic loves his Ash. Ever since uh, ever since NA started going at spantic has been uh, just copying them there. So he's going to go in the Ash right there. And uh, we had a pretty, we basically had like, what, uh, was it nearly a triple count, I'd say. I think Squeak is very good at dealing with Ash here, but yeah, so we had a very solid comm right now. As you see, I get taken out here, so SK have all the grass control they need right now. But again, pushing into a Squeak is very hard, especially when Tom is just hitting all his shots there. It's very, to be honest, it's very hard to hit Squeak shots there because uh, they can either, you can get out of it. And the only way to guarantee a Squeak shot is if you hit them directly, so it carries over to them. And that's what Tom was doing there. As you guys see, a great pinch from me and Yoshi here. Getting my 3Ks on. And I haven't played B ever on this map. Like, I don't think this year. Maybe I'm wrong. But, yeah. I, I definitely don't recall myself playing B uh, on this map. And I haven't played B, like, probably for, like, nearly two two months, I think. Maybe two months. Yeah, something along two months. Yeah, I haven't played B here. So, it was kind of a freestyle. Not sure what Semantic is doing there again. Mm, not the best plays by him. But... As you guys see, Yoshi has his super. We're going to be just getting the lane swap there. And, uh, yeah, keep, keeping on top of that is going to be very important. I'm going to try and slow down Gie there, trying to help Tom there. You know, again, my job is to support my teammate, and I think I did a very good job at that. Making the lives a lot easier. That's going to be a great kill from Tom. And Yoshi has a super here, so taking on Ash is going to be uh, fairly simple here. Great pinch from me and Tom there. We managed to get the Lola as well. Yoshi's going to go ahead. He's going to sneak up. He's going to get a nice little stun into Semantic there. And he didn't stun him again. But there's no need because I can get the slow and get the kill into him. And that's going to give us the gold, guys. So, again, that's going to be great team play here. And uh, let's see. We have 30 seconds remaining on the clock, guys. All we need to do is just hold. And right now, I think Yoshi should just block off right lane. And, uh, and just wait. But instead, I get caught off guard there. It was definitely, it was definitely my bad, to be honest. Because I kind of expected Ash to do that. And I still let it happen here. And uh, yeah, it's just very, very unfortunate right now. As you guys see, uh, Tom did a really nice gadget here. But unfortunately, SK do manage to get the team wipe on to us. And they come back with a really quick goal there. So yeah, it's going to be 1-1, guys. We're gonna heading into overtime. And obviously, our comp is far more superior in overtime here. So we felt really, really confident. All I have to do is hit my shot. So, you know, no, no pressure there. No pressure. But again, we get off to a really good start. Smash is going to pop the heel here. They did get caught off guard here. But again, 
did manage to just pick up the kill at the end of the day. Lola did trade me out. Tom with a really nice shot there. Both of them avoiding M shot. Being very, very, uh, very smart there. You know, don't take any sort of damage so that Lola can just uh, keep them out. Yoshi just waits for me to come up so that I can take care of this Lola here. But then Ash again, I need to just keep him. Uh, I need to keep on Ash here, guys, because my slows basically allow Ash to get, die basically all the time here. So that's going to be very important for me to uh, do that here. Again, I get a nice slow on. Take care of that Lola pet as well so you can't use any... Uh, can't use any uh, protection there. That's going to be a nice one-two play from Yoshi and Tom, guys. Such a crazy play. I don't know. They're just so good. But, yeah, that's going to give us a match point of the series heading over to the next game. Here we are on to round number two here, guys. And, uh, again, we felt pretty confident, guys. We're on a match point against them. And we just, you know, based on the past, we just want to close out the series right away here. So, yeah, that's exactly what we're going to try and do right now. As you guys see, Tom gets a really nice start. I get a nice little start as well, getting a really good pinch onto their Lola and M's. There, I got a bit too aggressive there. Again, if I stayed alive, we could have got a bit of a uh, complete map control lane lane uh, spawn trap, I guess. So, yeah, that's what I tried to do. But, unfortunately, I did get caught off guard. And I get caught off guard uh, right there again as well. So, not the best plays by me, but Tom... Somehow keeps them uh, back by himself. It was a 3v1 there. I feel like SK should be doing a lot more than that. They're just playing a bit too passive. Especially when they have an aggro brawler. Like, they have two aggros, to be honest. They have Ash and M there. And they really need to be scoring before overtime. So, I feel like them taking the risks they need to to secure the games is very, very important here. But, as you guys see, we are pinned to our spawn here. Try to get out. I get a nice double slow onto them. Tom's going to put his uh, super down. He gets a uh, hit onto the Lola. Unfortunately, we cannot do anything about that. We can't assist him with getting that kill or anything like that. Gie had that gadget. I don't know if that was the wrong gadget there. Because, to be honest, I don't see a point in having that gadget. I know we have no brawlers that, like, go aggro. But once Gie used that, I think that was his first time using the gadget. But once Gie used that, we was like, okay, he has that gadget. He doesn't have knockback. And I think I told Tom, and Tom did really well to, uh, you know, make use of it. As you will see later on in the game here. But, as you see it right now. We get Semantic slowed here. Semantic can be uh, taking a death there. It's going to give us a bit of opening. I get a really nice 3k shot onto Gie. It's going to make him fairly weak. I'm going to slow him down as well. And uh, I'm going to get caught here a little bit. I do get taken out as well. It's going to be very unfortunate, guys, because I'm keeping on getting kills, but I'm getting traded out instantly. And it's going to be unfortunate. Yoshi's going to die there as well. Again, so close of uh, killing, getting that kill and staying alive there. But again, narrow margins right there. Tom, again, keeping keeping alive there. Again, Tom's going to be a very, very solid person on these type of brawlers. Just keeping them back, stalling enough time is going to be very, very important here. But guys, 30 seconds remaining. We ha we've basically been in spawn the majority of the game, to be honest. Like, every time we get a kill, we get traded out. So, like, all our hard work just goes to waste there. And uh, we have no gadgets. Well, Yoshi has gadgets here, and he has super. So, that's going to be very good. But, yeah, this M's has super. It's going to give us a lot of problems. M's going to do that. Yoshi with such a great angle there. I would have not seen that angle myself, personally, here. But... Yoshi pick finds a nice one. He's gonna stun uh, Chaos as well there, but I don't think uh, I don't think that was the right one. But it doesn't really matter, guys. It's left in a three v one. Not much I can do here. So it's gonna be a very very well played by SK. We just couldn't really nail them down in that game. But match point for us still, and a set point for SK heading over to the next one. Here we go, guys. On to game number three here. This is all to play for here. So it's gonna be very very big stakes right now. And uh, as you guys see, uh, we get a better start here. Tom with a really nice slow. Gonna get Gia a bit weak as well. Svante's gonna be trapped in this little place here. Not quite sure what he's doing. Like, again, I, I don't know. Svante just played very off today. Uh, not today, well, yesterday here. But as you guys see, we do take advantage of it. And we do get some really nice shots there. And uh, Yoshi's gonna be doing a good job at just pinching, guys. Just pinching was so on point today. I feel like everyone just did super, super well. But as you guys see, we got, I got a nice... Oh, here. Okay. I nearly got slow in Svante. I don't know how we avoided that. Bit lucky by him. But doesn't matter there. I get a nice 3k there. And uh, Svante's going to be one shot. We do manage to get the kill onto him as well. I'm going to be trying to stay alive. Unfortunately, I do get caught off guard. Tom gets a really nice block so that Gay can't push. And this is where I, you know, Tom knows he doesn't have that gadget. So Tom's going to just WQ him right there. Going to get the kill. And just so smart from Tom, guys. The intelligent on this on this boy is just it's, it's amazing here. But yeah. So he wins that lane. We know Ash is somewhere mid. He gets another great scout again. Just doing really well. He's going to block off the mid so that uh, Lola can't support. Yoshi has a stun right there. And he's going to get basically about like, what, 8%, 9% with super back as well. So that's going to be very, very important. Chaos again. He can't progress forward because of that slow there. Slow is gone now. But again, that's going to be such great value for Tom. Let's go ahead and try and get that Lola pet out. And we do. Tom's going to have his super again. It's going to miss Gia, but again, it's just keeping him back, and that's the most important thing. Yoshi's going to get a nice stun to Semantic. He's going to be one shot right there. Semantic's going to pop another gadget, 
And that's gonna basically give Josh a lot of confidence here because he doesn't have his level, so there's nothing to be scared of. I'm gonna make Chaos slowed, trying to get the kill. I get I 3k semantic instead, you know, keeping him weak. It's gonna be a big help to Yoshi. Tom going aggro again. Unfortunately, he narrowly uh, dies and uh, doesn't get the kill. It's gonna be very unfortunate here, but I tried to do my best to keep a hold of both lanes here. So I get the 3k, I get another tap on the gear, and I just absolutely annihilate him there. So yeah, really nice shots from me. Yoshi with a nice stun, I assist him with that. And uh, we're feeling very confident, guys, because we just got two kills right there. We have complete map control. I don't die there. Like, normally I die there and it just goes wrong, but this time I stayed alive. And right now we have them pinned back for the majority of the part here. Tom with a really nice super. It's going to just wreck. wreck. Uh, yeah, we knew, we knew Semantic was going to come after him for the trade. So we just get the swaps going as well. Semantic with a, uh, I mean, Josh with a really nice uh, kill there, getting the stun, guys. Although it seems pointless, like, from you, your guys' perspective, just stunning him with, like, 600 HP, it's really not... You know, it still gets his supercharged up quite a bit, and it's just guaranteeing the kill. You don't want to take any excessive damage here, but over time, again, it's our game to win here. So, over time comes in. Gia is going to be one shot. We're going to take him out here, and uh, as you guys see, we're trying to do our best here. Yoshi could have grabbed that ball. I guess he was being a bit safe there from Semantic. He doesn't want to be trapped there, so it's completely uh, fair. And we do manage to get a nice kill on Semantic. Unfortunately, uh, Yoshi doesn't get the stun onto him here, but again, some really nice pinches from me and him. I'm going to slow that. I'm going to try and stay alive as much as I can. Yoshi finally gets the ball out. And uh, Chaos is going to be dying there as well. Tom has the shot, guys. It's all Tom. And boom, he gets a nice play with Cement on it. And we beat SK, knocking them out in the quarterfinals there. And we're going to be locking in a number one seed going into MSI. If you guys know what MSI is, it's going to be an international LAN somewhere. We don't know where it is yet, but it's going to be eight teams right now. The teams that are going to MSI are... Uh, Team Queso, SK Gaming, Tribe Gaming EU, Tribe Gaming NA, uh, Zeta Division 1, uh, AC Milan Clash, and it's going to be FA, FA Agents from uh, SESA, and there's one more, it's going to be between, I think, ST Men, Chasmac, or Avengers, one of those from NA here, but those are the seven teams that we know of right now, so it's going to be a very, very good event. The event is going to be on June, so more details will be revealed soon, guys, so just make sure you stay aware of that. But yeah, that's going to be wrapping up the video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.